Okay, it's been a month since we started uh, the Sweet Pea Cordon project and uh, kind of a couple of things about it. Now people told us Ray right in the beginning saying, wow, this is going to take a lot of labor. Yeah, it took a lot of labor to set it up. Um, the whole thing for this 100 foot row probably took us eight to ten hours from start to finish, you know, stringing the cables, getting everything all lined out and getting the sweet peas uh, trimmed up and, you know, started for the first time. But once we got them lined up to the string, um, the actual amount of time, probably I come in here and I hit this like twice a week. I hit it like on Sundays and Wednesdays. And today is Saturday, so things are a little bit, um, they're growing a lot faster now. And so things are uh, moving along pretty good. But I spend probably about a half hour, 40 minutes going down the row taking off things like uh, all of the tendrils so that these guys don't you know climb into each other I'll knock those guys off like here's right one right there we just snip it off and then I'll wind these guys around the string at some point I'll probably use more tomato clips to kind of uh, hold things up but these guys on average um, what we found now is they're about probably 20 to 24 inch depending on you know which one some of them are um, more aggressive on a variety than others. Um, we have some mammoth series in the back, and those guys are just getting big fast. Um, these guys here in the front are, are more of a just regular Spencer series uh, type, and there are things like Anniversary, and uh, I think we have um, White Frills and a couple of other ones. Um, Nimbus is down here and some are like I said some are more aggressive than others but so far it's not been too bad um, being able so I'll typically come out in the morning like the first thing when I do it and uh, just kind of go through and tidy it up and some of the things I'm making sure that I'm getting rid of is anything that's branching out to the side this is pretty new for me, so I'm not really sure what the flower buds look like. So I'm kind of waiting to see what a bud, how it expresses itself before I kind of snap it off. But particularly ones down at the base, I don't know if you can zoom in on this guy or not, but you get something like this. It looks like a branch. I don't want that because so we just pinch it off. It's really easy. You're just rubbing it off. So anywhere you see that going down at the base. Is pretty good that it's not going to do anything except you know take away from the upper growth on the plant itself so we just go through not all of them have it it's after a while they kind of kind of slow down putting buds out on the down below part uh, at least that's what I've noticed at this point and um, we try to hit these guys they're due for some fertilizer at this point uh, interesting thing I've noticed is that the leaves will start out, they'll be a little yellow green, but then they really green up. So it's kind of interesting um, how it's growing. And I guess we're hoping for blooms sometime in, in uh, mid to late May for the, for the starters. Um, they still got quite a ways to go up the thing, so we'll see how it goes. Most of this growth that those you're seeing here has really happened in the last, like, uh, oh, I'd say a week and a half. What about the other flowers? It's pretty obvious you have other things growing in mm -hmm. here. Yeah, a couple things um, we did. We put stock on the outside, and some of the variety of stock is actually showing flower bud now at this point. And uh, also, too, just as a matter of trying to get some pollinators in here and some things that are um, useful for um, beneficials and maybe put a little shade around the roots of the actual sweet pea plants themselves, got some cover crop alyssum seed now this is not something that you know you say is high-end alyssum seed this is like whatever and uh, we just sowed in I just put in little pods of it here and there uh, it's it's not really um, you know any art to it other than it was just kind of like broadcast in and it's germinating now and we can see particularly like around emitters and things it's doing pretty well you see you got some branches here we don't want that so we just pinch those guys off as fast as we can right? kind of looks like you need more clips yep we're gonna start clipping some of these guys up but I can also you know for the short term just kind of wrap it around the string itself make sure the string still has some tension in it it's kind of leany but 
You're not filming right now? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are? Oops, you're going to have to edit that out. We're still filming, sweetie. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, taking out some of these guys. And we'll just go through and go down the line and just do that to all of them. And yeah, it's time to put on a second clip, like on this one, we put one right there. So our goal is less foliage and longer stems with more and larger blooms. Yes, that's the theory. What's going to happen is the plant's going to put its energy in growing straight up on one main stalk. And then at the leaf nodes, they'll put out their blooms and usually they have to reach a certain point in, in size, so many nodes, I guess, before they start to make that transition to that. My understanding is that's usually sometime once they get up to you know, a couple, three feet high, and you're talking about like mid-May. Uh, you're going to get fewer blooms, there's no doubt about it, but you, we put the plants closer together, put more plants in, and um, the idea is that we get long stems and more flowerlets on the stem itself. So, um, we're going to see if that's really true. Wow, look. Yeah. We found a bloom. I think this is happening faster than we thought. Right here. Right here, and here, and here, and here. Oh my. And here. Yay! So if you start looking at it, you can start actually on some of these guys, you can start counting the flowerlets. And we'll see. I'm not even sure what variety it is. Um, should be tagged somewhere. Somewhere in my my area. On your side. But some of these guys are just putting out branches. Like this one's just a branch. It's not a flower bud. See, but this is a flower bud. See? Right there. So this one I get rid of. It's not going to do me any favors. And... And you can see sunshine. Yeah, That's sunshine the blush, ray. right? Sunshine blush. Right. So we could have sweet peas here pretty soon. So who excited after a couple of years of not having any because of well, I don't know why. This is actually faster than I thought. So yeah, I've got to get out here with my clips, and and that's tomorrow. You can see like this is branching out to a branch. It's going to grow just a branch. It's not going to grow a flowerlet. So we'll just take that out. Let's go look at the big guys. Okay, these are the mammoth pinks, salmon pinks. And uh, we're already getting flower buds. They're already starting. Boom, boom. So, um, I, these leaf guys I guess they're called mammoth for a reason. Yep. They get big. They're getting big, so I gotta get them clipped, and that's my project for tomorrow. But this is super neat that you know we're already starting. We just gotta get the side branches off and the tendrils off, and and get things you know clipped up. Here's buds here, so they're sending them out. They're starting. So this was kind of fun to look back on everything, sort of circle back and and look at what we've been working on for the like the last month or so right right these mammoths are like a foot taller than the other guys <laughs> it's amazing so i guess we gotta get to work yeah absolutely it's gonna be cool it's gonna smell great in here too yeah got scented geraniums on the other side <laughs> fragrance overload